Um, I'm gonna drop that one so I can uh, acquire this uh, schematic. Everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everything... Wait. I know you. You're Paris, the first step on the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Okay, so, uh, that was apparently her. So there's an oxygen recharger. We gotta see why it is there. We don't need the line racks right now. Because I don't have uh, the weapon for that. I can't, I can't pick it up, but uh, I don't have any space in my inventory. I think if you, uh, when you update that, uh, uh, that uh, rag, uh, you're gonna get some more equipment you can carry. Holy... Okay... Jesus... Further to a previous conversation, I asked that the delay bring you to the market out from the planet for two day, for, for a day or two. You know, as I'm keen. Oh come on! I'm not gonna read all that text. Well, you know, I'm as keen as I, uh, anyone to uh, study in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask. What's happening down there? I just—it's just unique to unpredicted, unprecedented. Cut it short without proper time to study the cause of an effect. In a lot of discussion, I had Dr. Mercer. Well, uh, it's basically telling us there had been something going on on the planet, and they don't know what happened right there. And um, as I tell you, if you want to know about that, I would like you to, uh, I advise you to um, watch the movie. But you can't watch it if you're under 18, so, um... Really? Science Log Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. As it seems. Well, that's only ahead. Get off me! Phew. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. 
I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. So yeah, we got this, uh... Where the hell is it locked? There's something in here. Ah! Well, I know. <laughs> There's a power note, for example. Small mad pack which we can't pick up. But there's money, I think, yes. Well, someone was so nice to blast the shields or the window. Oh man, these flights really creep me out. I'm trying to fly in my face. And I don't smell bad. It's just they're pretty annoying. Well, where are we again? Ah, oh, I think I know where we are. So, we're back at the medical station. Whoa! Well, that was a close one. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lock down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> We've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Okay. Saving right here. Uh, yes. And, um... To make everything even more cooler, we're gonna sell some crap. Of course we're gonna download that lime rack stuff. So, um, do I want to sell that? Yes, so I can buy a power node. And now we have three nodes. And we can put two together. Because I want to always have one node in case there is, um, something that we have to open with one node if you know what I mean probably so here's the workbench somewhere here it's another text lock I'm not gonna look at that we want to see more violence for that okay uh, the plasma cutter and So, uh, to get to the reload uh, thing there, you have to use two of the nodes. What you also can do is uh, put some node points into air or HP. What you also can do is, uh, yeah, the energy and duration of the uh, stats module or the kinesis module. But, um, I think I'm gonna go for the plasma cutter. Although, hmm, with two I don't get to HP. Well, how about we don't do anything? And wait for one more node. Maybe there are doors which have two nodes which are needed to open. Who knows? So, where to next? Uh, this way. Okay. Well. There's a store. Oh, uh, yeah. So, this was part two. Or chapter two, I think that's what it's called. 
yes, intensive care, which we completed. Whew. Still creepy, the game. Still on daylight. Still creepy in daylight. So, uh, chapter 3, course correction. And we're going for the engineering deck. And um, since I think I played more than 40 minutes or so, or. Well, you've got two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Okay, but that's what we're going to do next. So, see you around, guys. Bye.